Hi, it's Jason and Jason's Jungle. This is the bit that I just took up the uh, new potatoes from. Uh, so that's two lots of potatoes this had without being any f getting any feed. In fact, three lots because I had a uh, first earlies in here last year as well as the second crops. So it's still okay, but it could do with a lot more organic matter in the soil. Unfortunately, I'm out of homemade compost. Now, I do have things I want to go in here, but they're not ready yet. They won't be ready for a few weeks. So what I'm going to do is, I've got some bags of compost that I'll put on top. But first of all, I'm going to dig into the soil and mix into it with just some pure grass clippings. At this time of the year, these should break down quite quickly. Because these are full of nitrogen, the soils are brown. Uh, so they should break down reasonably quickly. So that in a couple of weeks, when I've got the compost on the top, and I plant out uh, my salad greens, I'll have uh, you know, some nice soil with more organic matter in. So I'll spread this out and dig it in. Look at that, that would have been next year's volunteers. Um, I dug through the other day and uh, I did pull out quite a few more. But obviously I missed a few. Now what do you reckon? Should I stick them back in and pretend I never saw them? Uh, but it's just over a pound there I think. Uh, I might bump it up to 20 kilograms but I don't think it's quite that. Now, I could go for another year, growing in the same bed, just leaving these in as volunteers. Although technically they're not volunteers now because I've uh, dug them up. But they're also decent size. I think one or two of them have been split when their fork gone through them. Hmm, actually I can't sing them. Maybe I was lucky and managed to miss these with the entire fork. Even though they got stuck in between the chains. Yeah, looks like I have. That one's got a scrape. That's it. But, there's a fair bit of eating on them. So what I might do, is throw these in. These are some of the small ones. You don't need the big, oh that's a green one. So, small and green. Treat them in, yeah. What I might do is just scatter these around the bed. Not all of them will survive, because there's some of them quite small. And, uh, so these are really the smallest ones, the ones that have got green. Yeah, and we'll see if any of these survive. So what I'll do is I'll just scatter them around randomly, poke them down, and then level off the top. Okay, so that's two stupid ideas in one bed. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just leave this all the way, I'll put a bag of compost over. Uh, maybe it's today, maybe it's tomorrow. Because I've got another stupid idea I want to go and do as well. So, just level this off a bit. And then I'll go and do that stupid idea. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in a second. Here's some more volunteer spuds. To the right of this lane were Maris paper, where you see these white sticks. So to the right of that is Maris paper. To the left was Nickel and Shaw, and there's a couple of spuds there. Uh, so I'm going to pull these up and see if we'll get anything from them. Seems like they were earlies. Okay, so I'll just do that, and then you will see there's only a few plants, so I can't imagine getting many spuds out of it. Uh, so I'll just dig that up now. Okay, so 
this is how much I've got. Not that much. Um, nothing's been done to these. No water in, nothing. Um, would have been bigger had I come and watered them, but I haven't. And they're in a shady spot underneath the hedge and all these nettles. But again, it's free. And there's enough there for, well, one meal. And I'll wait a while before I do the others. Again, I don't imagine which will be there for the marriage paper. Okay, here's another daft idea. You can see on this bed, a stead screen mat. This is buckwheat. Buckwheat's a great uh, cover crop, catch crop, green manure. You can dig it in after four weeks or pull it out and compost it after four weeks or if you leave it for eight weeks uh, to ten weeks it'll um, produce more seed which you can either plant or make flour out of but what I'm going to do is I'm going to underplant some of this this these are broad beans they're Luz de Atono these are autumn harvesting broad bean uh, well you can plant them three times in the year you can plant them October to December and overwinter them to, so that they're ready in June. You can plant them between end of June and all, early August and then they'll be re ready from September to November. Or you can plant them in early on in the year during March onwards and they'll be ready around July. So you can plant these three times a year. I usually plant um, over winter Aqua Dolce. I think it's called, or whatever. And then spring harvest, I'd do something like crimson flowered broad bean, and then I'd do these in the autumn. But I may try doing them all year round, but I just like the variety. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke these in here about eight, eight inches away from each other. And then I'm going to let the, the, them go in the buckwheat grow. So by the time these are germinated and are ready to come out, or ready to grow, the buckwheat should be ready to come out and uh, hopefully that will suppress most of the weeds there's some grass coming but that will come out easily and uh, we'll see how that works push comes to shove I can always pull the buckwheat out early and uh, just leave the beans in so I'll get on with that I hate raspberries. They sit there looking smug, hiding red fruit at you every day, day after day, pound after pound. I'm just so sick of them. I look at this lot. Overgrown, tacky when you come in, keep throwing things. You get red all over. You don't know if you're bleeding over it's raspberries juice. So they're all going to have to come out. And I'll hack them down, and that's it. No more raspberries. Until the next lot in autumn then it's going to be loads of raspberries and I'm going to love them all over again. So, out with the secateurs and I'm off underneath the hedges. I've finally done it. Ah. Let's just have a quick look at what's happened. So here's the tulamine. Now it's quite dense here, but not so dense down here. That's because I had the mother plant planted in up there and down here I had other things including a fig, 
which had to get moved because these were just swamping it. Look down there, that's some of the stuff I've taken off. And we're going to walk around here. You can see more of the stuff I've taken off. Then there's the Joan Jays opened up, loads of flower starting to come. And there's another pile of stuff right at the other end. So, yeah. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to take and shred and go into the compost and I've got a little bit of a respite and then we'll have round two of the uh, Raspberry Fiesta. See you later.